Much of our body's ability to process an enormous variety of chemicals depends on the action of cytochrome enzymes, which transform organic compounds so that they can be disposed of by the body or used as building blocks. In particular, the cytochrome P450 enzymes catalyze a wide variety of oxidation reactions through radical intermediates. We can understand the mechanism of cytochrome enzymes using the concepts we've already discussed in this lesson. The active sites of P450 enzymes contain a heme group, iron surrounded by a large porphyrin molecule. Oxidation of the iron results in the formation of an iron-oxygen double bond. The unique iron-oxygen double bond is able to abstract a hydrogen atom from an organic substrate that fits into the active site. Although the carbon is drawn as sp3 hybridized here, aryl and alkenyl hydrogens may also be abstracted. This process produces an organic radical and an iron radical bound to a hydroxyl group. The hydroxyl group is then able to rebound onto the organic radical with the net effects that the oxygen atom of the FeO double bond has inserted itself into the CH bond and the iron has been reduced. The intrinsic reactivity preferences of the P450s, that is, how the iron-oxygen double bond would react in the absence of any orienting effects by the enzyme, are determined by the stability of the possible radicals that may be formed on the substrate. This means that we can use the principles of radical stability we've already learned, as well as bond dissociation energies, to predict the most likely site of oxidation. For instance, we would expect tertiary CH bonds to be oxidized more readily than primary CH bonds because the corresponding radical intermediates, tertiary over primary, are more stable. The hydroxylation of thujone provides a nice example of this idea. As we would expect, the two unconstrained tertiary positions are oxidized preferentially by cytochrome P450. I'll leave it as a problem for you to think about why the constrained tertiary position where the cyclopropane ring meets the cyclopentane ring is unlikely to undergo oxidation by cytochrome P450.